Good morning, my ninjas. All right, we are just finishing this one up. Billy's just blowing off. I mowed the front and back. Me and Billy both were actually dragging this morning. <laughs> For him, it's been a long day yesterday. For me, it's been a long week. I gotta get these yards done so we can start on that mulch. I'm gonna go ahead and let him come in here and uh, let him answer that one question somebody asked. There it is. Hey, what's up? <laughs> we're here again. We're here again. I was just telling them we were both dragging this morning a little bit, but getting in the swing of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've had my monster drink. <laughs> uh, yeah, somebody on there said just a minute ago, he's like, uh, Billy, I'm 43. These 20 year old guys can't do nothing when we can. I, I can't. They don't know what, the, what it's about. <laughs> they want the money, just not to work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one guy asked yesterday, he said, uh, let Billy answer this one. <clears throat> he said, uh, how come you haven't started your own lawn care business by now? You've been doing it 25, 30 years. What would you answer that to them? I don't know how to answer that. I guess I'll just... Uh, have I just, you tried? Uh, no, I haven't. No? I just, just, I guess don't have the... You I'm afraid, afraid it would make it. Nervous. Probably would, yeah. Probably would, but, you know, I just haven't had the yeah. initiative to do it. Initiative to do it. Yeah, there you go, guys. I mean, that's... You know, some, some people, you know, they just don't really either want to do it. Some people just don't try, don't care to do it. Some people, who knows? I mean, but, you know, somebody asked me, they wanted to, they wanted to, somebody wrote on there, they wanted me to ask you why. Because, you know, you said yesterday in that video you did 25, 30 years of lawn care, but. Uh, I have, I guess I just uh, never, you know. I'm afraid of falling on my face. You know, yeah, you yeah, probably yeah. wouldn't, but you never know. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. want to take a chance. Cool. Well, anyway, there you have it. I um, we're headed to the next one. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can get a lot of these done by uh, by noon, one o'clock or so. <laughs> I don't know. I may have to push it just a few to into tomorrow. Uh, just so we can get to that mulch job because that mulch job is actually crucial today because he, last night when I got home the customer called me and said Nick what's up with the mulch job man I said dude besides the you know rain that's definitely messed it up last couple of weeks he's like well there's no rain this week <laughs> and I'm like I know I told him I'd be there today so uh, get as many important ones today as I need to get and then uh, if I got to push a few into tomorrow I will and I'm gonna mess my church schedule up I'm gonna mess up I'm gonna mess up Billy's church schedule he said <laughs> <laughs> Billy that's terrible no, don't. <laughs> but um and then uh, we go home unload all the stuff and then go get some mulch uh, I can only get up to five yards uh, on my uh, utility trailer so I'll probably have to make two trips what I was thinking maybe I don't know we'll see is get five yards unload it get Billy started and then while I go get five more at least I was thinking that but let's just see I mean let's just see maybe we'll just work together too and just knock out the five and go get more I don't know I'll be done before you get back with five. Yeah, you probably will, dude. Yeah. Yeah, Billy's a beast, man. I will. You're freaking at you're freaking animal, dude. All right, that's all right. We'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little time at home anyway. Yeah. He was he was dragging this morning. I got him this energy drink, and dude, he right he's pumped right now. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew, right? Uh, yeah. 
so um, I got to get the mulch done. So yeah, if, if I have to push a few yards into tomorrow, I, I don't want to work all day tomorrow, definitely. Uh, maybe three, four hours from seven to like maybe 12 or something, that's fine. Uh, I know Billy wants a day off, probably. Oh, I don't know, you just, you just started, yeah. Oh, no, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the light though, I know it's coming. He, he just had one day. <laughs> I know what's coming. <laughs> I've been here before, remember? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I have some plans. I got some friends coming over, cooking out, hanging out. I, I don't I don't want to work all day, and, but they're not coming till later in the afternoon, so. And anyway, so stay tuned. I'll, I'll try to record of us mowing a few of these, but if not, then definitely the mulch, because we are getting to that mulch. I'm not losing a client over some stupid mulch. That's for damn sure. Never a dull moment. Yeah, <laughs> never a dull moment. See you guys. See you, man. See you. <laughs> What's going on, guys? All right, we did like uh, five yards of mowing. And uh, I had to push the rest to tomorrow, so I am gonna have to work tomorrow. But I've only got like six, seven left. So uh, I'm gonna knock those out real quick early in the morning and then have the rest of the Sunday. And that's it, nothing else. But I had to stop today earlier with the mowing. Mulch, because of mulch. I already prepped the beds, as you can see. I prepped them, I don't know, last two, three weeks. Completely cleaned them de weeded and I mean of course you might see it one or two here and there uh, cleaned it completely sprayed it <sighs> a couple more are spraying out here but they got they're sprayed it's just a matter of time and then uh, this is the front there's another one great flowers I love them and uh, here's Billy. Sp He's spreading mulch. Billy really likes spreading mulch, don't you, Billy? I love it. I love it. He, it's actually one of his preferred things to do. He'd rather do that than mowing, or? Oh yeah. Yeah. In a he likes it. He just prefers it. Yeah. The result. You're right. I love at the end. But we already did this right here. Look at this. I gotta put a little bit right here, Billy. You see right there? Yeah. I think I need to. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna drop a, just a tad bit there, and he's doing that. And I've already dropped one right here for this. So I definitely wanted to show you guys the before, and I will definitely record the after. I might just put us on a tripod, of, <coughs> and uh, and um, record the process, but. I actually had better luck today with the mulch, and we got to spread this through here. Um, I got five scoops total. I got three in the trailer, and two in my truck. Uh, the 09. Wait, let's see, if we threw some through here. Right there. And tarped it, of course, closed it, but it's full. And it's as you can see, guys, it's like it's not the real thin kind. This is the kind that the customer requested, but I actually like it, it spreads so much nicer. All right, well, there you have it. That's the highlight of the day, besides the five uh, this morning, and of course, we're gonna have to. Uh, Bill, you working tomorrow with me? Uh, thanks. Do you think? I'm not for sure. He's not for sure. Um, I told him it'd just be a couple hours in the morning, but I basically gave it, left it up to him. And the reason is, is uh, they're calling Monday like 90% chance of rain. So we might not actually even work Monday. Even more reasons for me to finish the. Huh? No, I mean, whatever. It's up to you. It's all good. So, anyway, um, so stay tuned. I'll show you the aftermath or maybe a little bit during, but uh, I'm going to finish the list off tomorrow. Hopefully, Billy will be with me. Uh, if not, then I'll just go solo and finish it up. 
like I said, there's only like six or seven. So I think if I start at seven, I'll be done by 12. Oh well. Um, but other than that, I hope we have enough mulch. <laughs> if we don't, I'm gonna have to finish it off next week then. Um, Cause I'm not, I can't make, by the way, the, the place where I get it is about to close anyway. They close at five, so. But there you have it. Just wanted to quickly show you. I'll, uh, I'll show a little bit of the progress as we make our way towards the center and uh, this way, you know, I'll, I'll definitely record. And then of course I'll show you the, the complete product. Look at all these stripes, huh? I wonder who makes these stripes. I wonder who mows this. Oh, they, do a pretty good job. they do a pretty darn good job such a good job that the customer actually called me and said I am very impressed with my yard the grass looks better than it has ever and uh, whatever you're doing keep it up so that was pretty uh, pretty pretty good to hear that they absolutely loved it and that is the nicest grass they've ever had very very minimum weeds because we did do the weed, weed treatment and then the aerating and all that seeding and stuff like that so and he does the he's on my uh, year-round uh, deal where um, <clears throat> it, it's automatic every fall and spring we do the aerating fertilizing lime and all that stuff so all the seeding all right I better go help Billy here before he passes out on me <laughs> At least we got some shade here. All right, talk to you guys later. Peace. All right, guys, real quick update. <clears throat> Trailer is empty. And this is how far we've gotten. And I just started on the emptying the 2009. That right there. Really? You just got attacked by some bees but uh and then this right here this bed is pretty much complete i got a little corner right there but and on the other side but we stopped pretty much right here is where it started to get pretty thin and uh there's a spot right there So, we still got all this. Oh, goodness. And then uh, that corner is what we're working on. It's really hard to dump mulch through here because of these red flowers. It's terrible, it's just time consuming. So I opened the tailgate and put the wheelbarrow right up to it and just I can't wait till I get my dump trailer. It's gonna be so much easier. And I can put more. There's only so much you can put in a utility trailer and then there's only so much you can put in the bed of the truck. Do you remember few videos back where I've told you if you prefer bulk or pallets bags and I told you that I normally do pallets and bags and I've always avoided to do bulk just because if for this exact reason I don't you know have the equipment I didn't have a dump trailer but now I got one but I got to go pick it up um, and I know it was always a lot cheaper, but I didn't have the equipment. And this is exactly what I was trying to avoid. With that being said, I've always done more pallets and I've always known how to quote how much mulch I would need by pallets. And the, the bulk 
is what's throwing me off right now. <clears throat> I uh, remember that last most job we did. It was uh, me, Steve, and Justin. Remember how I was really short and I had to go back for a second trip? And then even after that, I still ended up doing like 10, 15 extra bags. Well, I'm gonna have a similar situation here where I'm not gonna obviously have enough today, but everything else is closed, so I can't finish it today. I'll, I'll finish it next week, it's not a problem. The problem is it's pissing me off of how come I'm getting, I'm getting it off, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not accurate on it. So with that being said, I'm gonna be short and I'll have to get more. Luckily, uh, my client is super chill and they're uh, totally understanding. So I don't have any worries about that. I'm gonna, they're gonna cover more. <clears throat> so that way it covers everything, labor and material. But it's just frustrating, you know? And that's because, like I said, I've always done more by pallets and I know how much one pallet will cover. Not bulk, it threw me off. I did it in the past once or twice and I figured real quickly without a dump trailer, I'm not doing it anymore. So I just stuck with the pallets and the bags <clears throat> until now. So I wish I had my dump trailer. I wish I had gone and picked it up, but no time. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. Just wanted to show you uh, the update. And I'll show you uh, either another little quick update as we make progress where we are, or it'll be a wrap up. And I'll show you how far we got. But I got five scoops, three in the trailer and two in the truck, and it's not enough. All right, guys, talk later. All right, my lawn care ninjas, it's a wrap. I am out of mulch. I showed you this earlier. Here it is. Um, I did not finish, as you can see right over there. We'll, we'll walk right up to it. Um, I'm gonna need probably two, three more scoops, honestly. All that right there. Billy just left with the 09. I told him I'd meet him at the house. Right there, I ran out. A little bit in here. Basically, that's it. Um, oh, and then this side, of course. Ran out through here. So not a whole lot. I gotta pull some of these weeds before we put down the mulch. And that's not his. His is right up against that tree. So I know it's kinda, kinda confusing as far as the property line goes. So it's like on this side of these shrubs or up, up to the shrubs, so really not all that back there, just a little bit through here. <sighs> through here. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, I ran out, I called him, and I told him, of course, today's Saturday, nothing's open tomorrow, I can't. I could go get some bags, but I'm not gonna do that. I mean, that's ridiculous. Thought that was Billy maybe coming back. So and there you have it. So I say maybe two, three scoops at most. I say two. Uh, so I call them. <laughs> there you go. Oh, let, let's walk over here, show you guys from this angle. And I told him, and he's out of town, but uh, he said, uh, <laughs> All right, Nick. He goes, What happened? I'm like, Well, I, uh, I said, I, I told him, there it is. it's beautiful. I told him, I said, um, you know, I'm used to doing more bags and I'm just now slowly going into bulk. I actually even, I told him about the trailer. And uh, it's calculated. That's about all I can tell you. And so we agreed on an additional charge for an additional amount, of course. And he was fine with it. I told you, I got some cool customers, man. He said, I totally understand, it's fine. But he did tell me, he said, 
Now, if you're short again, after this new agreement, that's on you. <laughs> and I told him that's totally fine. I told him that's totally fine. Oh my guys, get my seatbelt. I totally understand. I wasn't even gonna argue that. Um, I was very appreciative and thankful that he was even willing to uh, re readjust the price. You know, most people would not. Most people would be like, no, this is what you told me I needed done. But I told you, 99.9% .9 of all my clients are like down to earth people, man. They're, they're very dear to me. I'm here to take care of them, but I, this is an honest mistake. Uh, just like it was the other day up there when you guys saw that other black mulch. Um, so, he's, but, he, but he did say, he said, now listen, buddy, if you're short again, <laughs> that's on you. I told him I got you. No problem. So if I'm short again with the original additional charge that we agreed, that's on me. So, guys, it goes to show we all make mistakes. I've been in this game nine years, and I've always done bags. I did it like a couple of times in the you know in the beginning bulk, and I was like, I don't have a dump trailer. I didn't have any money at the time to get a dump trailer. I said I'm not doing this crap out of a utility trailer or a, or a, you know in the back of my truck. Uh, that's, it's just not it was to me it doesn't didn't seem productive it didn't I don't know it just it didn't fit right with me and that's why I stopped and so ever since then I just been doing um, you know bags and, and pallets and now that I'm getting back into bulk and one of the main reasons why I started is um, I've always known it's you can get more it's cheaper, but I've always even when I was doing pallets and, and, and bags I've always been able to upcharge correctly and make sure that I, everything got covered and I always made sure that I made money But you know, so and I always knew you can get a better deal with bulk, but What got me into it is I said I might as well start slowly getting back into it because I've got a dump trailer coming up And that's the main reason for it I mean you know besides of course hauling any brush or any things like that main reasons for mulch and rocks and things of that nature any kind of landscaping so now that I'm getting back into it I'm realizing look my numbers are off yeah and this is the second job and I got two three four four more jobs coming up mulch and I did better on this one than the last one. The last one I was completely off. And I guess uh, you, a lot of you gonna ask me, well, did you measure it? No, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I did not. Should I have? Yes. But it's one of those things you, you look at it, you eyeball it and you go, ah, you know, five yards, six yards, seven yards, whatever. Let's call it six yards. And it ends up being eight or nine yards. Dang. So, luckily, the next one that's the most second to urgent, urges, most urgent. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. Um, I, I quoted that one crazy high and I got it and that's because I had a bad feeling about these two so I quoted this next one really good and she already paid they already paid so it's just a matter of me getting to them I told them probably next weekend and then she was fine And then I got a huge one after that. But at, at that point, guys, I'm going to have my dump trailer. I can easily, I'm hoping, put at least 10 yards in my dump trailer. They're three-foot walls. Tell me that. Help me out on that. It, you know, it's a 7 by 14 dual axle, of course. 7,000 pound, I think, per axle. Um, three-foot walls. That, that, you know, the uh, standard, I think, is two-foot, but I paid extra for the three-foot. Tell me, do you think 
I can at least put 10 yards in there of mulch or is that an overkill or or is that you know max or what do you, what do you guys think I, I was calculating I can at least put 10 yards of mulch in there I don't know I hope so <laughs> so but I I, uh, I I quoted that one correctly I know that for a fact anyway I'm headed home. You guys have seen the out outcome. I've got a few areas that I've got left. And I'll uh, I'll finish it next week. No problem. He was cool. I sent I'm gonna I took pictures, I told him I'm gonna send it to him. And um, Yeah. That's it. Thanks my ninjas. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are enjoying all the crazy content that I'm bringing you guys. It's been a crazy week. Guys leaving, guys coming. <laughs> it, it's been uh, quite the journey. Quite the journey. But it's fun. Um, I do want to reply to one of the guys, somebody commented and said, I feel like, you know, you started your YouTube channel, everything was great, everything was fine, and now everything is crashing down. No. I can understand where you're coming from, my man, because you're only watching month, two months, basically, worth of content that I'm showing you. My buddy's blowing up my phone. All right? You know, I haven't been doing YouTube for nine years. I've been doing YouTube for two months. This is so common, guys. In nine years, I have seen things <laughs> from customers, you know. Met the coolest people, craziest people. I've had the coolest guys working for me. I've had the craziest guys working for me. And sometimes the craziest ones work out better than the coolest ones. But um, there's been guys where I thought that would never leave, they leave, and then there's guys that I think that wouldn't make it for a week, and then they they make it for two, three years. So <laughs> you're gonna say, "Oh, is that Danny?" <laughs> He's one of them. <laughs> He's one of them. I didn't think he was gonna make it that long, but man, Danny is a tough cookie. That kid is is awesome. He's actually talking about buying my Hustler. His mower is giving him so much trouble. I don't know what's going on. Um, the, blade, the belt broke, and he put a brand new belt, and it shredded it. Unless he put it on wrong, but I, I highly doubt that. Hold on, guys.